Hello. Today, day 27 of our study, Life of Jesus in 30 Days. Today's midday prayer from Psalm 61, verse 1. God, hear my cry. Pay attention to my prayer. The midday readings from John 18, 13 and 14 and John 18, 19 to 24. First, they led him to Annas, since he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jews that it would be better for one man to die for all people. The high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teachings. I have spoken openly to the world, Jesus answered him. I have always taught in the synagogue and in the temple where all the Jews gather. And I haven't spoken anything in secret. Why do you question me? Question those who heard what I told them. Look, they know what I said. When he had said these things, one of the officials standing by slapped Jesus, saying, Is this the way you answer the high priest? If I have spoken wrongly, Jesus answered, give me evidence about the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you hit me? Then Annas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. In Matthew 26, verses 59 to 68, the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false testimony against Jesus so that they could put him to death. But they could not find any, even though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two who came forward stated, This man said, I can destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. The high priest stood up and said to him, Don't you have an answer to what these men are testifying against you? But Jesus kept silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you, under oath by the living God, tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. You have said it, Jesus told him, but I tell you, in the future, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, he has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? See now, you've heard the blasphemy. What is your decision? They answered, he deserves death. Then they spat in his face and beat him. Others slapped him and said, prophesy to us, Messiah. Who was it that hit you? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have to wonder when I read these lines, I wonder where Jesus got his composure and his lack of retaliation and he was just so composed and I can't help wondering what I would have been like in those circumstances knowing what was ahead and seeing just how many people were giving false testimony and I also wonder have you ever had false testimony spoken against you and what was your response and I do on occasion remember false testimony given on me and um, my response was certainly not to keep silent as Jesus stayed silent. Um, I just find it a great challenge to be like Jesus more and more each day. It is a, a daily challenge. But that's what we're called to do, to be like Jesus. 
So I hope and I pray that this has been a blessing and that you will take time, if not immediately, but time in the next few days or even the next few hours to contemplate some of what you've heard today. And the Gloria, glory be to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. The Lord's Prayer, join me if you can. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And the blessing from Psalm 20, verses 4 and 5. May the Lord give you what your heart's desires and fulfill your whole purpose. May the Lord fulfill all your requests. Have a blessed day.